yeah. started a week ago. I was super hungry, but my mom was gone, so I busted out the George Foreman. Jesus. Oh. I'm so hungry. I'm not the most religious guy. I sort of worship Eric Clapton and Ocho Cinco, but... Dear Girl Jesus, first of all, you're super delicious. Please, Girl Jesus, please let us win our first football game. It would mean so much to Artie. You're not serious. Like, you're not serious. You are not serious. I... This is like next level ridiculous. Do all year just for another dinner. Maybe we could do it Thursday or something. I gotta tell you, Kurt. I'm real disappointed in you. Oh, come on. You're disappointed? Like, it's one week where he's got something he wants to attend that only happens once a year. We can't put the weekly dinner on hold for one week. We can't. Songs by Jewish artists. What is wrong? Hit it. This is a good song right here, though. You got the liquor starting much too late. Sooner or later, it comes down to fate. I might as well be the one. You know that only the good die young. Wow. Kurt tried to tell him, man. You gotta start taking better care of yourself. Oh no. oh no! He's not dead, is he? Oh, so I mean, that, so this started as like a ridiculous episode, and now it's actually like an intense one. Ah, oh, he can't die. I love their relationship. He cannot die. I'm gonna be so mad. Like I said, and we're back up, to girl? this ridiculousness again. Like, this episode started and I was like, dude, I hate this. This is so stupid. Like, unfathomably stupid. But then it, like, takes a turn to, like, being one of the most intense episodes yet because of that. Come on. And turning to God. Oh, this come on. Bring it to me, to Mercedes. Up. Give it to me now. Tina, Quinn. Come on, things? Quinn. Get down here. Leader of the, what is it, the celibacy club. What song is this? As I lay me down. Oh, oh. Yes. I suggest they enroll at Sweet Holy Mother of God Academy on I Love Jesus Street, but not. I'm sorry. Even for Sue, this feels a little too much. Like, this kid is going through something horrible. And, like, there's a very serious situation going on. And you're using this time to make it about getting one over on the Glee Club. Thank you, girl, Jesus. I need to know what's going on I, with that Glee Club. I can't Brittany decide if this is the worst gone. episode of Mostly any show ever. Really sad for Kurt and or if it's knows how to help. good. I I, heart attacks. So I prayed harder. And after a while, I realized it wasn't that I wasn't praying hard enough. Same. That kid could lose his father at any moment. You should start preparing him for that. I get the hell out of my office. I realize you're only half orangutan, but I'm still very allergic to your lustrous ginger mane. Last week, we were too sick. Give me everything I've prayed for, and it turns out Rachel's boobs are really awesome. Dude, this... I need another favor, is, so This episode's just, making me hate him. I pray that I made quarterback again. Sounds a good dude. Once again, maybe we should pray for Kurt's dad. 
the most popular guy in the school. Instead of being the quarterback and touching a boob. Is this not eerily similar to like what happened in our country a few weeks ago with Demar Hamlin with the Buffalo Bills when he got like went down dead in a game? It's kind of like everybody was. I know this is just kind of about a community, but now it's like the whole country. But same same principle. Is Rachel, have we ever even seen her interact with Kurt's dad? I know. The kid's been cheating right all night. No reason for him to be there. It's just bad luck. We need to get him to the ER. Okay, let's go. The ER? Now, Lurch, congratulations. You're the quarterback again. I know things have been pretty morose around sweating. here this past week, but I want to celebrate some good news for our little family. Let's hear it for Finn on getting back his quarterback job and leading the Titans to a win in their second game of the season. <laughs> I love that we're just rejoicing and a kid is separated on his shoulder. Ripped off. Inside. Man, this is really cool. It's such a feeling that my love I can't hide. Woo! Gracious. That is gut wrenching. Free to be the quarterback on the football team again. All those three things happened because I prayed for them to grill Jesus. <laughs> okay, where to start? No, no, I, I know it sounds crazy, but it isn't. Jesus appeared to me on a sandwich and it has special powers, I'm telling you. But I didn't mean for anybody to get hurt. Okay. I'm grilled Jesus, come on. So Finn has decided he doesn't believe because his grilled cheese didn't have superpowers. That's pretty much where we're at with this guy. And without something that's sacred. Anyway, Kurt, this song is for you. Oh, we're about to have some... <laughs> the look you gave her like, why are you doing that? That I believe. You want me to pay for you soon? Yeah, that would be nice. I win. Nurse Nancy? That I'm right here. <laughs> I thought he was squeezing his anyway. Was he moving his head? I'm so I want to take this seriously. I can't while Finn's eating a grilled cheese. Like kids really wanted to do this song soon, so I let him. Lot say, got a lot to say, got a lot to say, and uh, got a lot to say. I thought the whole thing, I, I know the whole thing with Finn was kind of the premise behind taking the episode in the direction it went. Hated it. Hated everything to do with Finn and the stupid grilled cheese. Now, I am, anybody that's watched my channel for any amount of time, I am a vocal-esque believer 
a Christian, but that's not, don't think that I'm about to go into this, it was offensive and mother stuff. No, 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 It's not about offensive or not offensive. It's about stupid. That's a, like, the dude's worshiping a sandwich. Like, that's the best way we could think to get to all this talk about spirituality and God. Like, that was the best thing we could come up with to get to all that, was having him see the picture of Jesus on a grilled cheese. That was so mind-numbingly stupid. I'm sorry. I know I got a lot of Glee fans watching. It's not an indictment on the show. It's an indictment on the episode. That was so stupid. And this is like the second time that Finn has been put in a situation where I've got to take him seriously under completely ridiculous circumstances. The first was when he thought he impregnated Quinn because he was in a hot tub with her. They had never even been intimate with each other. And he thought he got her pregnant. And I was supposed to take him seriously, and I couldn't. Now this episode, at the end, like, he decides that he, he's literally basing his belief off of a sandwich. I mean, I and I'm supposed to take him seriously. And then when they're doing What If God Was One of Us at the end, and he's like, the dramatic moment of him eating the sandwich. It's like, oh my gosh. You've got this gut-wrenching stuff with Kurt and with Sue And I'm supposed to get invested in Finn finally eating the other half of his grilled cheese. So stupid and just almost, almost took me out of this whole thing. Took me out of this whole episode. What kept me in, as a believer myself, I liked most of the discussion about God and about uh, (coughs) faith and religion because it's a complex thing. People from different backgrounds who have different experiences that shape what they believe and why they believe. I thought it was so powerful that Sue doesn't believe because of how she's seen her sister treated and the challenges that her sister faces. But yet her sister believes and she's the one going through the challenges. I love that complex nature of like... Sue not believing on behalf of her sister, but her sister does believe. And her reasoning, God doesn't make mistakes. And, and you know, like, that's a beautiful thing. And that's a complex situation right there that now Sue's character's got to work through. But I'm sure she won't because this show's all over the place. Kurt, I love the fact that Mercedes was so kind and didn't force him to go to church, but very kindly asked... And I love that it was such a little thing, but I love the fact that Mercedes was able to get up at church and say, this is my friend Kurt. He's not a believer. And nobody like jumped him. (laughs) Nobody like came over and was like, well, let me tell you, because being a member of the church and Christianity for so long, a lot of times when you encounter somebody like that, people think it's their job to get in their face and say, well, let me tell you about the Lord and open the Bible and all that. And it just turns more people off than anything. I like the fact that everybody was still so kind to him because he's a human being and he's going through a hard time. And, uh, you know, they show the, as a Christian myself, we should show the love of God, the love of Christ, no matter what, like, no matter who you're encountering. And uh, so I like that friendship with Mercedes and Kurt and the example that it has. Two people who believe different things. And at the end, Kurt's still not a believer. You know, if this was a 90s sitcom, it would have ended with Kurt ending up being a believer by the end of the episode. That's how a 90s sitcom would have done it. Reminds me of Boy Meets World, which is my favorite show of all time. They had an episode where a character got in a motorcycle accident and was on a hospital bed. And his... You know, somebody who was close with him who was not a believer becomes a believer by praying for them. And, and like, sometimes that happens, and that's great. But sometimes it, sometimes it's just we're all a work in progress. We've all got things to work through. So I mostly like this episode, but the Finn thing with the grilled cheese was so mind-numbingly stupid that, like, I, I can't have sympathy for his character at this point. If you... I believe that you impregnated somebody by being in a hot tub with them and then you prayed to a grilled cheese sandwich and got mad when you realized that it was just a grilled cheese sandwich. I have trouble, like you deserve what you get at that point. Uh, so that's Glee. I had a lot to say right there if you watched all the way to the end. 
I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below as well. Thank you guys. Take it in. Soak it up.